The Islanders, Calamity Project 9, Part 2 On the island of Anigada in the Caribbean At the New Islanders base in the center of the forest Oh, me love it here, said Susan looking at the surroundings The air here, me love it Susan continued with her arms open wide Glad to know you're in good spirits, Colin replied the Islanders had been granted a base of operation which had been organized by the official Mr. Brown before his death. He apparently wanted them to function as an independent group in case the CSA was one day compromised. You for real? A walkie-talkie radio? She replied looking down. It is what we have to work with until we set up, said Colin. All units, all units. We have a bomb situation in the capital. It's Grenada, said Susan to the others as she held a walkie-talkie before looking at the map on her tablet. Wi-Fi me I get, said Susan with a smile. Agui swam beneath the ocean before his watch began buzzing. He later strolled out of the water and was returning to base to see what the emergency was. In Grenville, Grenada. The mysterious individual in his cloak located the home of Madame Kalisha. The end. And that was the Islanders Calamity Project, Chapter 9, Part 2. Caribverse TV, where we bring the stories to you.